Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. This is Daniel White the third with the second coming watch update. This is update number 306. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up today, according to the Los Angeles Times, a monstrous blizzard carrying hurricane force winds in some places pounded the northeast over the weekend, dropping over 30 inches of snow in many areas and causing as many as 700,000 homes and businesses to lose power even as snow-clogged roads gave residents no choice but to heed official advice to stay indoors. The storm continued its path from New York City through New England, where snow totals even reached up to 40 inches in some places. Nine deaths so far have been reported, including two people being killed, stuck in cars while the car was running. Second today, according to the Times of Israel, the Lebanese army and the terrorist group Hezbollah are reportedly upping their preparedness in the southern part of Lebanon in response to flyovers by the Israeli Air Force. Lebanese officials reportedly fear that an Israeli strike similar to Israel's alleged strike on Syrian targets last month is imminent in light of multiple mock raids. Many suspect that Israel may be preparing to take action in retaliation for the bus bombing in Bulgaria that killed five Israelis and injured many. Bulgaria has released a report blaming Hezbollah for the attack. Third today, according to China Aid News, Kao Nan, a 39-year-old charity worker, was arrested in southeastern China after meeting with other Christians in a city park to sing hymns and preach. Mr. Kao, who worships at an unofficial local house church said he had been accused of falsely using the name of Christianity to harm the social order, a charge which he rejects. He says that the government is worried that if they allow Christianity to grow, his influence will surpass that of the Communist Party, win the public's favor, and challenge the governance of the ruling party. Mr. Kao has launched a lawsuit against the government and says he hopes it would encourage other Christians to speak out against religious persecution. Fourth today, according to the Associated Press, secret studies from the U.S. Defense Department cast doubt on whether a multi-billion dollar missile defense system planned for Europe will ever be able to protect the U.S. from Iranian missiles as intended. Military officials say they believe the problems can be 
overcome and are moving forward with plans for the future. But proposed fixes could be difficult, even though the stated goal of the system is to shoot down Iranian missiles aimed at Europe and the U.S. Russia opposes the plan because it suspects that the system could be used to shoot down its own missiles as well. Fifth today, according to World Net Daily, an Egyptian court is forcing two Coptic Christian boys, ages 10 and 9, to stand trial for insulting the Quran. The boys were arrested in September after a man reported them for playing in a trash pile that included pages of the Quran. Press reports indicate that the man who filed the charges was able to generate public outrage, which led to the intimidation of Christians in a nearby village. The American Center for Law and Justice said that there is a real concern that Christians in Egypt are facing greater danger each day from a radical Islamic government. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 1 verse 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, may I encourage you to get to know Him today. To do so, please understand that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws. However, in spite of your sins, God still loves you, and He does not want you to be separated from Him forever. Romans 5.8 tells us that God commendeth His love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins, all you have to do is believe in Him and receive His free gift of salvation. If you do so, you will not have to suffer eternal punishment in hell, but you will live eternally in heaven with God. Now, dear friend, if you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross, for your sins, was buried, and rose again. And you want to invite him into your heart today so that you will not be left behind when Jesus Christ comes. Please pray with me this simple prayer. Mean it from your heart. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some evil things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Dear friend, if you just trusted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and you prayed that prayer and you meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the Word of God, you are now saved from hell and you are on your way to heaven. Welcome to the family of God and congratulations on receiving the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Now for more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to GospelLightSociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Jesus Christ said in John 10:9, I am the door. By me if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. In closing, beloved, please remember the words of the Lord in Matthew twenty four forty two. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Now let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator when he prayed, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you.
You got to get your business straight. 